Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to play in all of this new Pat McGrath stuff I purchased myself and now I'm poor because it was so expensive, but my goodness, do I love it. So I really wanna go for like a 90s Spice Girl look today and I think I accomplished it. Shout out to Katie for doing my hair. This is prettybomb.com. She does like the best braids, you guys. I actually wanna list her below cause she's been bomb.com with fixing my hair. But yeah, if you guys want to see how I get this look with this eye gloss, eye gloss. Oh, I love it so much. Then if you wanna see it, just keep watching. Let's get started. So I always start by priming my lips. I'm using my Fresh Sugar Lip Serum Advanced Therapy. And I just, I always like to put this on like before I start anything so it can really just sink in. It's the party you wanna go to. I love this stuff, you guys know I'm obsessed, so. We're just gonna pop this on. We're doing things a little different today. I'm actually just gonna focus on the eyes. We're not gonna really focus on foundation today since I just posted my updated foundation routine, but I am gonna show you this step. I like to take concealer and we're actually gonna use this as our eye base. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer in the shade R22. As always, everything is gonna be listed below. And I'm gonna take this on a Luxie 182 and I'm gonna start by tapping this on my inner corner here to really brighten this. When I use really dark eyeshadows, I like to use concealer as my base, and I really like to make sure I bring the concealer through here to really brighten. Even though we're still gonna do our under eye concealer, we really wanna make sure that we have a really bright inner corner. Otherwise, it kinda gets muddy, and it just the shadows get kinda, I guess the word is muddy. So let's just blend this out, and like I said, this is our eyeshadow base as well. Okay, so we're gonna lightly set in certain places, and we're, I'm gonna use this Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for under eyes. It's actually one of my favorite powders of all time. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on my little Tarte Unicorn brush here. I'm gonna set my brow bone. I'm gonna set through here a little bit, but I'm not setting over here, because we're about to use a black smudge stick. So we wanna keep that not set, but we definitely wanna set through here and the brow bone. Taking Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow in the shade Birkin. I'm gonna put my MAC 217 in there, shake a little of the excess off, and I'm going to put it, I guess, in the higher crease. So not as deep in the crease, we're just gonna bring this up pretty high because this is our transition shade. And this is the only transition shade we're going to be using. I say that, but I'm probably lying to you guys. I might dip into something else. I get wild. Y'all know I get out of control. All right, but for now, Birkin, MAC 217. Next step, and if you see me chewing, mama brought me cornbread, so I'm over here eating cornbread and trying to do this tutorial. So we're gonna start with the Pat McGrath Black Smudge Liner Eye Coal. This comes in the entire set. So it's actually a two, four, six, it's like a six piece set. I probably just counted that wrong. No, I didn't, six piece. Okay, so we're just gonna take it, and just like this, we're gonna take it on the lash line and we're gonna bring it upwards to about right there. The rest of the work we're gonna do with a brush. So that's where we're at, right there. Perfect. I'm gonna leave it like this, it's new. Taking this e.l.f. brush, I'm not sure what this is called, an e.l.f. 201 brush, I'm gonna take it and I'm going to very carefully smudge this on the outer part of my eye, and we're wanting this to go into more of a cat eye shape. So we're just gonna be really controlled with it. This stuff actually smudges really nicely, and you have a lot of playtime with it, but you do wanna be careful, because it can get out of control. Gotta keep it in control here. Now I've just switched over to a MAC 217, nothing on it, and I'm just working on the shape. I'm doing small circular motions, and then I'm kind of flicking it out, because I want this to be more of a cat eye look but I'm gonna clean up through here with a wet wipe. So if that gets a little messy, don't worry about that. We're gonna come back to that. But for now, just work on your shape with a semi-clean MAC 217. Step, I'm gonna take the Pat McGrath Ultra Suede Brown Pigment, MAC 217 that we were using a second ago, and I'm just gonna focus this in the center of the lid and I'm going to melt it into the black and kind of have it ombre into the black. And I'm using as little product as possible at first and just keep going back and forth. And then, then I'm gonna pick up, Ben's getting ready to cut me off. He's like, mm, you're done talking. But I'm just gonna pick up this little tiny shader brush and I'm going to just fluff them together. This is a very happy eye right here. So I'm taking the Pat McGrath Mercury Pigment on a MAC 228. 
Oh man, hot fire right here. Oh my, oh my goodness. Look how beautiful this is. And we're just gonna pop this on our lid. I like to bring it up above where my lid actually is. You guys already know. And start to just paint this on your lid. Now I'm taking, what the Sam, who is that? Oh, but I'm taking a clean Mac 217 and I'm just going to diffuse any harsh edges that we might have created. It's supposed to be a really smoked out look. So, little small circular motions. Now for the fun part. Actually, there's one more part after that. After this, it's gonna be really fun too, but this is one of my favorite parts. I'm taking the Astral White Pigment from Pat McGrath, Mac 228, my favorite inner corner brush ever. And I'm just gonna place it like that and then I'm gonna feather it upwards and just really pat it in there. You guys know we're gonna want this really, really bright because that's how I roll. Oh my goodness, this is so nice. Woo, this is pretty! So I just dropped a drop of the Inglot Duraline in my Inglot Gel number 77. And I'm taking an Anastasia number three and I'm not doing a wing but I do want to really deepen and darken our lash line because we're gonna throw on a false lash, but we're just really going to just make sure our lash line is really dark. I'm not even gonna bring it out to a wing because our eyeshadow is already a wing. And yeah, so just be really careful and keep this really tight. I need a mirror that's closer. I'm having a meltdown. Where's my mirror? Oh, I found one. Okay. Taking my dose of colors, dose of colors, pencil brush. I'm gonna go into the Pat McGrath Dark Matter Pigment. This is such a cool eyeshadow. It's really black, but it's one of the smoothest blacks I've ever seen. So we're just going to take it and we're gonna tap from where our liner starts and we're gonna tap it through here. And we're just gonna connect it and do a little V, like so. So we really wanna deepen this bone through here. Look how pretty this is. You guys know I'm obsessed with these Marc Jacobs highlighters. This is in the shade Out of the Blue. And we're gonna pop this on our waterline. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and go into my foundation, but I'm not gonna do that on camera since I just did an updated foundation routine. So you guys already know the drill, but I wanted to really focus on my eyes for this one. We interrupt this scheduled blending to show you guys that I'm gonna take my foundation brush and I'm gonna take my concealer from here and I'm going to sharpen this just like that and we're gonna hurry up and do this for our concealer sets so that's all I was gonna do just sharpen it BAM back to the eyeballs so we're gonna go back into this smudge stick I'm gonna do three dots like so and I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab this flat brush this is my no-name flat brush and we're just gonna smoke out the bottom lash line you can use any brush for this. I think as long as it's a taper brush, I think a MAC 242 flat brush would be good too, but I have no idea where that is. That flew the coop. But for now, we're just gonna be blending away. Going back into this beautiful shade here, we're gonna finish up our inner corner. We're gonna bring it down here on the tear duct as well. And just finish really brightening up what we got going on here. Ooh, that's so pretty. Throwing on some lipstick. This is the Makeup Forever Liquid Lipstick in the shade 101. I think it's called Artist Matte. These are probably one of my favorite liquid lipsticks of all time. I'm waiting for them to come out with more colors, but we're just gonna throw this on real fast. Okay guys, I'm gonna throw on one of these little stars. Oh my God, it's so pretty. <laughs> so this is from Glitter Injections and this is called Constellation. I'm just gonna take my tweezers. You guys didn't see the epic fail that happened, but I tried to use like a fancy tool to put this on and it was a tragedy. And I'm just gonna pop it on right there. Just like, yeah, oh my God, this is so much better. I mean, what, what was happening? What was happening before that other thing? And I already have one here and here. We're just gonna have a match. We're just gonna have them there. And then when the light hits, we're gonna be like, Ooh, just like that. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Popping on my current faves. This is House of Lashes. I, no, oh Lord, Nor Fairy Light. I was gonna say iconic, but these are Nor Fairy. And these are like my absolute faves. And this is the light one, so the band is easier to work with. Oh, these are so pretty. I don't know why I feel the need to turn everything into a song today, but I do. While our lashes are drying, I'm gonna use this Kevin Aqua Neo setting powder. So one side's a setting powder, one side's a highlight. The highlight's like my all-time favorite ever. 
And this is why I'm trying to, oh, I'm going to get to the side here and I'm, oh, look how stunning. I love how it's, it's like a different shade than your normal highlighters. It's so smooth. It's so smooth. Oh yeah. Are you ready for the fun part? Ben's ready. We've all been waiting on this. Dose of Colors pencil brush, the Cyber Eye Gloss from Pat McGraw. We're gonna pick us up a big old glob of it. Woo! And I'm just gonna pat it on. Try not to get it around your lash glue because it will make your lashes come off. So just try and keep it away from your lash line. Feather it up. Get your glossy lid on. Oh my goodness, I'm having the time of my life. Time, time of my life. You guys see this one I already kind of did? I'm just gonna feather him up in here. Oh Lord, oh, this is a party I wanna go to. Notice I'm not gonna take him over here, I'm gonna keep it towards the inner part of the eye and just continue to feather it up. Oh, it's so pretty, it's so pretty. Is it pretty, Ben? Oh man, ooh, ooh. All right, guys, we're gonna throw it on underneath here. I'm just gonna kind of make it our inner corner vibe. And don't worry if it gets messy under here. This is a very editorial look. So the messy part is okay. Now we don't wanna drag it all the way under here and be messing up and get crazy over. But for the most part, I don't think we're really gonna be wearing this out for too long. This is a quick grocery store slay. I mean, it's just a quick trip to the grocery store and then you're back. Throwing on just a touch of this Kevin Aqua Molten Lip in Cyber Sky to tie into all the blue. Oh Lord. You know, sometimes you do your makeup and it just comes out better than you imagined. And then you're just like, so happy. I'm like, I'm so happy with this. I'm not gonna leave it that way. So I'm just gonna tap it out. All right guys, so this is the finished look. Um, these Pat McGrath eyeshadows, they're very expensive. Yes. Are they amazing? Totally. Are they worth it? I definitely think so. Like I said, I purchased these with my own money. Um, I think the quality is absolutely just insane. It's like next level. And I think she's just, she's always been so ahead of the trends. And I just think that's amazing. This eye gloss is so much fun. Like I'm so ready to take pictures. I haven't even taken pictures. I'm so excited. Like this look, it came out exactly how I wanted it to come out. Anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure you thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. And I love you guys so much. You guys are why I do this. Love you, and I'll see you next time.